Hello, my name is Tim Barrage. I thought I'd do a comparison and explanation uh, between the differences of Maya and Blender's axis orientation systems. So just to get this out of the way, this video is just to illustrate the differences between the two programs and um, possible reasons why they chose a particular system. I'm not saying that either system is better than the other, just that they're different. So uh, let's get started. Uh, Mayo puts the vertical axis as the Y axis. Depending on orientation, the forward axis is the Z axis and the left to right axis as the X axis. Uh, where Blender is different is that it puts the vertical axis as the Z axis and then depending on orientation the forward axis as the Y axis and the left to right axis being the X axis. Now a possible explanation for the differences between uh, the vertical axis naming in the two programs. So a, um, a Cartesian plane is a grid defined by two axes and uh, an X axis and a Y axis often used in mathematics, it is a grid in which all points can be described in Cartesian coordinates. Um, so numbers, uh, you, you have this in 3D programs, everything has a, um, everything has a, uh, a multi-decimal point in 3D space that has uh, on all axis. So, where this applies to 3D is that two axes of the 3D environment are more or less a Cartesian plane, with the third axis adding a third dimension. Now think of a Cartesian plane on a piece of paper on a desk. This is how Blender orientates its scene, with both the X and the Y axis horizontal and the Z axis protruding vertically from the desk. Where Maya is different is that its two-dimensional Cartesian plane can be thought of as being drawn on a vertical surface like a whiteboard. The X is the horizontal axis and the Y the vertical. The Z axis protrudes from the board horizontally, giving the plane a third dimension. Realistically, both systems are more or less logical. The differences between the two systems really shouldn't make that much of an impact on someone going from one software to another. So um, I hope this uh, explanation uh, helped you understand the possible reasons why these two softwares might have chosen their own uh, access naming systems. Um, both of them really do make sense. And um, yeah, so thanks.